Sutra. The Buddha, with no equal, just like empty space, of ten powers limitless, of merit and virtue supreme, among people most victorious, superior in the world, that Shakya lion's dramas are what gives them it. Disciple of the Buddha, receive all Buddha's strength, set forth this king of dramas treasury most supreme, all grounds extensive wisdom, practices wondrous and supreme, through Buddha's awesome spirit, discriminate and speak. Those who have the aid of all the well god ones should obtain these drama jewels answering their minds, that all grounds undefined in order be completed. One must possess as well thus comes tenfold power, though one may dwell in blazes of compass like the sea. If able to accept them, one doubtless hears these dramas. But those who harbor doubts and who have no faith will never come to hear the meanings such as these. Please do explain the grounds, the way to supreme wisdom, and to dwell within. Unfold successive cultivation. From states of cultivation arises drama wisdom to benefit and aid each and every living being. At that time, Vara Treasury Bodhisattva contemplated in the ten directions and, in order to cause those in the Great Assembly to increase their pure faith, spoke verses, saying, The ways of the first commons, great immortals, are subtle, wonderful, and here to comprehend. Nor thought they are apart from every thought, those seeking them in seeing can't attain them. Commentary the Buddha with no equal, just like empty space. The Buddha is incomparable and like empty space, in that there is also nothing comparable to empty space. Of ten powers limitless of merit and virtue supreme, the Buddha has ten kinds of powers and limitless merit and virtue. Among people most victorious, superior in the world, among people, the Buddha is foremost and the highest in the world, too. That Shakya lion's dramas are what gives them aid. The dramas of the lion, lion of Shakya clan, the Buddha, are what aid those people who wish to speak the drama and explain it. Disciples of the Buddha receive all Buddha's strength. You, Vara Treasury Bodhisattva, should receive the power of Shakti Omni Buddha and the power of all the Buddhas of the Ten Directions and set forth this King of Dharma's treasury most supreme. Come and explain for everyone this most supreme Dharma doors, the endowment of the King of Jewels, all grounds extensive wisdom, practices wondrous and supreme. The Ten Grounds have vast, great wisdoms, and most superior wonderful practices through buddha's awesome spirit discriminate and speak the buddhas will come to aid you enabling you to discriminate and explain those who have the aid of all the well gone ones the buddha's mind should obtain this drama truth answering their minds and be able to speak according to intent that all grounds are defined in order to be completed. The ten grounds are all free from, from defilement. To be able to speak them perfectly and in order, one must possess as well as Kama's tenfold power. By relying on the ten kinds of powers of a Buddha, one can then speak them perfectly. Though one may dwell in places of compass like the sea, even though one dwells in compass fires, barriers of coming into beings, dwelling, go back, going back, and disappearing on the part of compass, great compass, as many in quantity as there is water in the sea, if able to accept them, one doubtless hears these dramas. One can hear these kinds of dramas for that long a time. One definitely will be able to hear them, but those who harbor doubts and who have no faith may be there as doubters, disbelievers. They will never come to hear the meanings such as these. They will never have the opportunity to hear these kinds of dramas. Please do explain the grounds, 
the way to, to supreme wisdom. Great Bodhisattva, you should now speak for everyone the Bodhisattva's ten grounds, the path of most supreme wisdom. Enter, dwell within, unfold a successive cultivation. Enter into these dramas and then open them up and set them forth, investigating and explaining them in orderly sequence for living beings, enabling living beings to cultivate. From states of cultivation arises Dharma wisdom. It is from cultivating and experiencing these various kinds of Dharma that wisdom is attained and Dharma arises to benefit and aid each and every living being. I hope that you, Bodhisattva, will speak for everyone's benefit for the sake of all the living beings in this Dharma assembly. At that time, you are upon Radha Treasury Bodhisattva contemplated in the ten directions. He contemplated the causes and conditions of living beings throughout the ten directions, and in order to cause those in the Great Assembly to increase their pure faith, the faith and understanding of everyone present spoke verses saying, The ways of the first comers, great immortals, he said. The Buddhas are like great immortals. Their ways are subtle, wonderful, and here to comprehend no thought. They are apart from every thought. When you have no thought, you should still go on to become free of all thoughts. Those seeking them in seeing can't attain them. If you want to see the Buddha and the drama by looking at forms and seeking in sounds, that is not possible. Those who do so cannot see the Buddha nor can they understand the Dharma doors of the Ten Grounds, Sutra. They are not produced and they are not destroyed. Pure and natural are they and they are always still. Of people undefined, intelligent and wise, they are the place of practice of their wisdom. Their own nature basically is empty and is still non-dual it is, but it is also unending. When liberated and set free from all the destinies, one dwells within the, the identity that is Nirvana. Commentary The Dharma doors of the Ten Grounds are just our original Buddha nature, and they are our original wisdom, as well as being the treasury of light of everyone's own original nature. As to these Dharma doors, they are not produced and they are not destroyed. They are not defied or immaculate, not increased and not decreased. Pure of nature are they, and they are always still. These Dharma doors of the Ten Grounds are always pure, thus they are always still and unmoving, of pure and defied, intelligent and wise. O oh, great of you, great disciples of the Buddha, since you are free from filth, you have obtained true and natural intelligence and wisdom. For each bit of defilement that's removed, a bit of purity appears. You decrease defilement by the same proportion as you increase purity because defilement that increases your stupidity. If you are pure, then day by day you fall, whereas with wisdom, day by day you rise upwards. As it is said, the superior person ascends, the inferior person descends. That is the same principle in cultivation when purifies the defied, uh, defied mind. What is defilement? Among all worldly dramas, the heaviest is sexual desire. That is what is most defied and most impure and most pure can't get out of this bite. They get caught up like a silkworm spinning a cocoon, which is biting itself up without even realizing it. Sages turn defilement into purity. Ordinary people turn purity into defilement. Whenever people abandon defied dharmas and return to original purity, their intelligence searches with wisdom. They are the place of practice of their wisdom. The Dharma doors of the Ten Grounds are what is cultivated by Bodhisattvas, intelligent persons who have wisdom. Their own nature basically is empty and is still. 
the self nature of us all is basically pure and without anything at all. But we ourselves day by day turn our backs on enlightenment and unite with dust and take suffering for bliss. Therefore, so the self nature, which basically is pure and still, there are added a great many afflictions. Non dual it is, but it is also unending. The self nature hasn't even one to say nothing up to. It has no shape or characteristics, spans, but it is also unending. Although it has no mark, it is not that it doesn't exist. Empty space has no mark, but you cannot deny that there is empty space. When liberated and set free from all the destinies, liberated through the wisdom of the ten grounds, one attains to freedom regarding the four evil destinies, those of asuras, hell beings, hungry ghosts and animals, and one dwells within the identity that is Nirvana. If you are able to understand the Dharma doors of the Ten Grounds, then you can understand that birth and death are the same as Nirvana, that Samsara is identical with Nirvana, and that afflictions are just a body. If you do not understand the Dharma doors of the Ten Grounds, then for you, Birth and death are still birth and death, and nirvana is still nirvana without any connection whatsoever. Sutra, they are not beginning, nor middle, nor end. They are not expressible in words. They transcend the three periods of time. Their characteristics are like empty space. The still distinction which the Buddha's practice cannot be described in words. The practice of the grounds is also thus difficult to express, difficult to accept. The Buddha states that arise from wisdom are not thought and leave the path of the mind. They are not the doors of uh, skandhas, realms, or places. The wise, no intellect does not reach them. Commentary They are not beginning, no middle, no end. The wisdom of these grounds has no beginning middle or end. Or to say the Dharma, the Buddha spoke was good in the beginning, good in the middle, and good in the end, does not apply here, nor do the grounds belong to the view of truth, the view of emptiness, or the view of the middle. They are not expressible in words. The ten grounds can only be known and cannot be described by words, which is why I do not wish to speak about them. They transcend the three but rest of time, these Dharma doors go beyond all Dharmas of the past, the present, and the future, and their characteristics are like empty space. The still distinction which the Buddha's practice, these Dharma doors are characterized by still extinction. They cannot be seen by looking, cannot be heard by listening, cannot be perceived by smell. They are what the Buddha's cultivate most subtle and wonderful, and cannot be described in words. If you wish me to explain the ten grounds, there is no way that I can use words to explain them. The practice, the practice of the grounds is also thus. The Dharma doors of cultivation of the ten grounds are just the same as in the previous analogy, difficult to express, dif difficult to accept. It is not easy to describe them, as it is said. The path of language is cut off. The place of the mind's workings is extinguished. The Buddha states that arise from wisdom. All the Buddha's states are produced from wisdom. They are not thought and leave the path of the mind. This again is the path of language is cut off. The place of the mind's workings is extinguished. Right in thought, one is apart from thought. One thinks, and yet one has no thoughts. Hence, they are not thought and leave the path of the mind. They are apart from all thoughts of the mind. They are not the doors of skandhas, realms, or places. They are also not the five skandhas, form, feeling, thinking, activities, and consciousness. Nor are they uh, 18, 18 realms, not the six sense faculties, eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind not the six objects of perception.
forms, sounds, smells, tastes, objects of touch, and dramas, and not the six consciousnesses. I consciousnesses, ear consciousness, ear consciousness, nose consciousness, tongue consciousness, body consciousness, and mind consciousness. They are not the twelve places: eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, mind, plus forms, sounds, smells, tastes, objects of touch, and dramas. The wise know intellect does not reach them. If you use wisdom, then you can understand them. If you use your thinking mind, your intellect, there is no way to understand them.